Hi, my name is Rowan and uh, you're watching Munro TV. Today I want to discuss with you the role of the ACCI in road accident fund matters. So, an individual is injured in a car accident and as a result of those injuries, they have lost the capacity or lost some capacity to work in the future. And now, the road accident fund has to compensate them for the income that they're going to lose in each future year. In fact, the road accident fund has two ways of doing this. The first way is actually to pay the person an installment after each year of loss. So you can imagine that the individual would come to the road accident fund and say to the road accident fund, please will you pay me for the loss that I've experienced in the past year? And because that loss is already adjusted for inflation, there is no need for an actuary. The second way in which the road accident fund can pay uh, the individual for the loss they've experienced is by way of a lump sum. And this is where the actuary does get involved because the road accident fund essentially says to the actuary, please will you tell me what my liability is towards the claimant. In other words, what compensation do I need to pay the claimant in order to put them into a position that they can pay themselves their loss into the future. And that is what we call the lump sum. Now, it is very important that we understand the work of the road accident fund in its natural habitat, that being the law of delict. Now, the law of delict says that the wrongdoer, and in this case the road accident fund stands in the shoes of the wrongdoer, must put the victim in the same place they would have been had it not been for the accident. Now, to ensure that the compensation paid by the road accident fund does not benefit the victim at the expense of the road to make sure that the road accident fund victim is not overpaid at the expense of the road accident fund and indeed the taxpayer being you and I, the actuary provides and, and, and excuse me, applies a certain assumptions to protect the interests of both the road accident fund and the claimant. These assumptions allow them to arrive at a marvelous thing called the present or capitalized value of the loss. And it is this lump sum which the claimant now needs to invest so that they can pay themselves an income into each future year of their loss, thus being the habitat preserved. Splendid! Feel free to explore the rest of our channel for more in-depth content. And please let us know if there are any other topics you would like us to cover. Until next time, cheers!